Welcome back. Those were the main headlines. No more details. President al Fatah Sisi followed up on the latest preparations of COP27 summit due to be held in the Red Sea Resort of Sheikh 2022. This came during a meeting with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli and a number of ministers. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Radi said that the president gave his instructions to exert the utmost efforts to make this summit a chance to reflect the great progress witnessed by the state in the field of environment protection and clean energy as well as presenting Egypt's successful steps to implementing its sustainable development agenda 2030. The head of state also directed the executives to boost the efforts of the specially assigned committee for the summit and all concerned bodies to prepare for the huge event. The meeting reviewed all the logistical procedures and the former experiences of other countries which organized similar climate summits. President Sisi also highlighted the importance of the state's plan to make the maximum benefit of the summit to propagate for Egypt as a tourism destination and to hold specialized exhibitions on the sidelines of the event as well as signing deals with different multinational companies to finance projects in the field of climate change in Egypt. Minister of Endowments uh, Mohammed Mukhtar Goma stressed the need to understand the true meanings of Noble Quran and uh, to the, the outcomes that comes from a correct understanding, moderate religion. The minister's remarks came during the opening ceremony of the 28th Holy Quran competition under the auspices of President Abba Tahassisi. Details. The 28th Holy Quran competition kicked off under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. It will run from the 11th till the 15th of December. Prizes for this year's competition are valued at 1,100,000 Egyptian pounds as part of Egypt's prominent role in serving the Quran and spreading religious enlightened thinking. The competition also offers prizes for imams and scholars in addition to 140 prizes for those that pass with at least 75% in the competition. In his speech on behalf of the Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, the Minister of Endowments, Mohammed Mukhtar Goma, thanked President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for sponsoring the competition and his keenness to honor the winners in the annual celebration that takes place on Laylat al-Adr in Ramadan every year. Goma added that the President stressed on the need to understand the true meaning of the Noble Quran and that comes from the correct understanding of moderate religion and beliefs that religion is the art of life making, construction, not the art of death making, demolition and sabotage that extremist and terrorist groups seek. He also called for organizing school and university trips to historical and cultural and natural places in Egypt to get acquainted closely with Egyptian civilization and the beautiful nature that Egypt enjoys, which are all mentioned by the Holy Quran. The joint Egyptian-Russian naval drills friendship bridge four concluded in the territorial waters of the Northern Fleet in the Mediterranean uh, Operation Theater over the past days. Let's have a closer look. The Egyptian and Russian navies wrapped up the joint naval drill bridge of Friendship 4 in the Egyptian territorial waters of the Mediterranean. The drill comprised several naval formations and artillery firing with live ammunition, as well as defense exercises against typical threats and air defense training on naval formations. Special Navy forces from the Egyptian and Russian navies also participated in the drill. The Egyptian Mistral class helicopter carrier Gamal Abdel Nasser took part in the exercise. The closing of the drill was attended by Commander of Egypt Navy Force Vice Admiral Ahmed Khalid, Deputy Commander of the Black Sea Fleet Vice Admiral Arkady Romanov. Earlier in October, Egyptian and Russian troops participated in the protectors of Friendship 5 joint military drills. The joint Egyptian-Russian military exercise went on with the participation of joint paratroopers at the special training field of the Egyptian Airborne Corps. The paratroopers drills included the deployment of troops, equipment and vehicles and the exchange of experiences. The exercise promoted strategic cooperation and expertise between the Egyptian armed forces and uh, their Russian counterparts. It also aimed at boosting strategic military cooperation between Egypt and Russia, and it's one of the series of joint military exercises by Egyptian armed forces and troops from several friendly countries with the objective of developing military capabilities and combat skills. Head of the National Media Authority, NMA, and Vice President of the Arab States Broadcasting Union, Asmu Hossein Zain, participated on Saturday in the meetings of the 41st session of the General Assembly 
as well as the 106th meeting of the Executive Council of the ASPO. The meetings uh, of the ASPO are hosted by Saudi Arabia from the 11th to the 15th of December. In his speech before the gathering, uh, Zain stressed the importance of activating coordination on various aspects of joint cooperation between the member states. On the sidelines of the gathering, Zain, meanwhile, held a meeting with his Saudi counterpart, Mohammed bin Fahd al-Harthi, as they discussed means of cooperation in different media fields, uh, files rather, as well as activating a memoranda of understanding signed between the two sides. Zain and Al-Harthi stressed that the coming period will witness bilateral fruitful cooperation and coordination to fight rumors and lies spread by some social media platforms.